Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special episode of CNBC TV 18 Presents The Fixed Income Investments in Association with Giraffe. I am Ritu Singh. Now, India is in the midst of a retail investment boom. From 2019 to 2023 alone, the number of stock trading accounts in the country nearly tripled from 41 million to 140 million. No longer content with low return options, young Indians are increasingly prepared to take the reins of their investments to maximize their growth. Armed with information and digital tools, they are not afraid to think independently and make their own choices. In the Indian investment landscape, bonds and other fixed income investments still command the most assets. And though they may lack the glamour of equities, fixed income investments are now more profitable and accessible than ever before, thanks to the rise of SEBI-regulated online bond platforms for high-yield fixed income investments like Giraffe. Offering customers a choice of listed corporate bonds, government securities, treasury bills and securitized debt investments among others, Giraffe facilitates fixed income investments with tenures ranging from 30 days to 3 years and investment opportunities ranging from 1,000 rupees to 1 lakh rupees. However, generating consistent risk-adjusted returns of up to 18% requires some sophisticated risk assessment and asset monitoring, which gives Giraffe's users the intelligence to navigate the fixed income market safely and profitably. So to talk more about this new democratic, technologically empowered market for fixed income investments and Giraffe's role in shaping it, I am joined by the co-founders of Giraffe, Vineet Agarwal and Saurabh Ghosh. Saurav and Vineet, thank you very much for coming down to our studio. And, uh, you know, I'm going to start with you about how you even came about starting Giraffe. I mean, uh, when you looked at the market, what are some of the gaps that you identified where you thought, uh, you know, there was an opportunity or a challenge that you could address? Yeah. First of all, thank you, Ritu, for having us here. Uh, so before we started Giraffe, both Vineet and I, we were finance professionals for over a decade. Hmm. Uh, so one thing which was quite, uh, you know, obvious to us was that Indian investors have been actively participating in equity markets, hmm. but not so much in the debt capital markets. Hmm. Even if you see participation in fixed income, there, used to be, there is a tendency to over allocate towards fixed deposits not so much towards, you know, bonds. Mm. Uh, while credit, you know, in general forms a large part of any financial portfolio. So if you look at global markets as well, mm. uh, the US bond market is about $51 trillion. In India, it's $2.5 trillion, right? Mm. So the gap is quite large, uh, you know, for India. For India's mm. growth over the next decade, debt market will be a key factor driving that growth. Mm. And we felt that this is the right time to, you know, build for something in debt in India. Mm. And that's, you know, kind of what got us started. We feel that the you know there is so much potential for Indian investors to actually create robust portfolios hmm. using bonds, debt, fixed income yeah. as a part of their financial savings and you know uh, to have a well more grow. diversified portfolio as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. You know, just to take that story forward with you, Vinita, when you started Giraffe, for instance, how do you think the needs of the investors align with what you're doing at Giraffe in terms of your mission, your values? So. Uh, as Saurav was mentioning, the vision with which we started Giraffe was that, mm. you know, to build a one-stop platform, basically, you know, because we believe in a portfolio approach in any investment that you do. So, like in equities, you should have, say, 10 shares or, you know, you should have a diversified portfolio. Mm. Even in the fixed income space, we started with that vision that if an investor is coming to our platform, they should have a portfolio of products that they can invest in. Mm. And with that vision, we started curating products across the yield range, uh, you know, at the starting end of the uh, a spectrum of products we had GSEC T bill, hmm. which is like you know six to eight percent kind of a yield. Yeah. Then you uh, we have corporate bonds, say maybe from a nine percent to a twelve percent kind of an yield. And then we have other products with a different yield, with a different tenor, and with a different maturity and type of company. Hmm. So an investor who can come to the platform can have a diversified portfolio across hmm. these products. Hmm. And that is how we have built the company till date. Uh, I, I can confidently say that we are one of the few platforms in India which has entire product range in the fixed income space. Hmm. We have a dedicated team to curate these products for us, uh, for our investors. And, uh, you know, we handpick these products ourselves. Hmm. Uh, we don't, uh, you know, market products, uh, multiple products uh, in one go. Hmm. These are very specific curated products that we bring to our investors. Okay, uh, Saurav, so Vineet has told us a bit about the products, but just for the sake of our viewers, uh, we understand equities and people investing in SIPs and mutual funds. What are fixed income 
income investments are, you know, what are the various products that are on offer? Sure. So the most traditional fixed income product that we understand is fixed deposit. It hmm. also will help us understand what other kind of fixed income products are. So typically fixed income is basically any investment category that gives you a fixed return over hmm. a fixed period of time. Hmm. Typically these products will have an interest and a principal component associated with it. When we talk about bonds specifically, bonds are issued by a counterparty. Hmm. If the counterparty is a government, it will be a GSEC, government securities or a T-bill. Hmm. Uh, if the counterparty are state governments, then hmm. it will be state development loans. If yeah. the counterparty are corporates, then they are called corporate bonds. Hmm. Right. So as Giraffe, we deal with you know all of these products. Hmm. We are a SEBI licensed bond platform. So de we deal with listed securities across all of these categories. Uh, you know, When you look at your customer data, what are some of the products that have emerged as the most popular uh, in the fixed investment category and how really are you curating your offerings uh, based on uh, you know user behavior so see corporate bonds are i uh, would say the top product you know which uh, investors are preferring okay. uh, what they are gen uh, you know genuinely looking is some uh, delta return over and above uh, as Saurav mentioned what an fd can give hmm. by not taking an incremental risk uh, hmm. i would say so we try and bring all these risk adjusted product where we feel that the risk return arbitrage is great hmm. okay and that is the product which uh, customers are looking at from a be behavioral pattern what we see is that you know a lot of our investors they prefer products which are not very longer in tenor okay hmm. so earlier all these okay. bonds like government bond which you also mentioned were hmm. generally 8 year 10 year bonds right yeah. now from a retail investor perspective they don't want a 10 year bond hmm. they want maybe a 3 year bond or a 2 year bond okay so we then try and curate bonds which are not very longer in tenor we try and curate bonds which will have you know monthly interest payout options they want so, more liquidity yeah, they, accessible and, and they can they do their financial planning okay ah. so they will have some goals based planning okay hmm. they will have some emi based planning so hmm. you know we curate products based on these behavioral patterns uh, for different types of investors hmm. so that they can again curate a portfolio hmm. basis their need. How do you match the right sort of product to the investor? Because like you said, right. maybe they're looking for a shorter yield, maybe they're linking their investment to yeah. an EMI payment or some education they have to fund. Hmm. So, you know, what are the analytics you're using yeah. to match the right product to the right investor? No, absolutely. So, uh, you know, this is split into two, I would say. Hmm. Uh, you know, one is obviously the investor that comes on to Giraffe today is a smart financial investor. Hmm. You know, so they have participated in equities in obviously fixed deposits looking to diversify beyond that and that's how they you know discover bonds and fixed income and you know come to giraffe right so i think the first question is the first part is that these people understand that how they want to build their portfolio now as a platform uh, as Vineet earlier mentioned as well our job is to provide a plethora of choice hmm. you know so the idea is to provide all kinds of products across risk categories across investment hor horizons across yield bracket hmm. so we'll do everything between 7% to 18% in yield hmm. between 30 days and 3 years in tenor hmm. and across risk categories hmm. right so really as an investor you can come and pick and choose assets that suit your risk profile I mean why you know, wouldn't so, I pick yeah. the high highest yield yeah that's because you are so for example let's say that you know you have actually uh, you know uh, dedicating a small part of your liquid or emergency fund into trying to earn maybe a delta return right mm. so you're not going to be chasing yields in that sense mm. but if you're reallocating maybe your equity portfolio to something in debt you yeah. might be chasing the highest yields right so it kind of just depends on what your needs are so. okay Saurav and Vineet uh, hold your thoughts we have to yeah. take a very short break but we're back in just a moment to continue this conversation thank you well, we're in conversation with Vineet Agarwal and Saurav Ghosh, the co-founders of Giraffe. On CNBC TV 18 presents the fixed income investments in association with Giraffe. We've tried to get a sense of the exciting competitive world of fixed income investments that Giraffe operates in. Now it is time to take a closer look at the people, processes and principles which make Giraffe tick. Stay tuned for that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a special episode of CNBC TV 18 presents the fixed income investments in association with Giraffe. We're in conversation with the co-founders of Giraffe, Vineet Agarwal and Saurav Ghosh. Now, technological innovation has made cutting edge solutions like Giraffe possible, but all great ideas must prove their mettle in the real world to earn the customer trust. Being SEBI regulated with an online bond platform license gives Giraffe credibility and transparency. But maintaining high standards require a comprehensive approach to compliance and competence at all levels and a clarity of vision. 
So, Arav, you know, just before the break, yeah. Vineet was telling us, for instance, and I didn't know that you probably mm. get as much or higher returns as investing in, uh, you know, bonds than you would in a bank FD, which mm. one would think is a safer investment. Yeah, Any other myths like this you'd like to burst for our viewers? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, there are quite a few actually. But uh, so bonds is a really powerful investment tool. I mm. think that most, you know, the Indian investors don't recognize today. Mm. The first and foremost, they are less risky than equities as a product because these are secured in nature. Uh, right, and they can be secured by you know receivables, fixed assets, you know uh, collaterals, uh, you know guarantees, right? Mm. So in several ways. Second, I would say, which is a, uh, largely a myth, is you know equity returns can be far higher than I would say you know a debt returns or bond returns. What so, is uh, historical yeah. evidence? So if you see like maybe a 10, 12 year you know CAGR for uh, mutual fund investments in equities will give you maybe 12, 13, 14 percent in uh, probably the large cap stocks, right? So. Uh, but if you look at bond returns, if you invest mm. in an A- rated paper, you can make 12-13% return as well. Uh, and uh, the better part about investing in bonds is, especially for short to medium term, mm. your in returns are very predictable. Mm. So you'll exactly know, uh, uh, you know, in which month, which day, you know, you'll get your money back. Mm. And you can actually plan for, you know, reinvestment, you can plan for your expenses. Uh, right. So if you actually want to invest for short to medium term, which is less than three years, hmm. bonds are a really powerful tool compared to equities because equity markets maybe in a one, two, three year time frame can be really volatile. You will hmm. not know whether you can actually liquidate your portfolio with gains. But hmm. when it comes to bonds, you know, these are fixed returns. You exactly know what, you know, when and how you'll get your money back. So safe right? and predictable. Absolutely. Yeah. In fact, that's the key of, word. Uh, yeah. I would say family offices and ultra HNI, yeah. they have a very large portfolio of fixed income. Hmm. Yeah. And a lot of retail investors or individual investors, they don't have because they don't understand this hmm. nuance. And, and once they, you know, under, start understanding it, they will obviously... Uh, start start appreciating the power of this product. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, let's just also touch upon the regulatory environment because that shapes in a huge way how you do your business now, how you will do your business in future. Uh, you know, we hear a lot about equities, but uh, give us a sense of how regulations in your space have evolved. Yeah. So regulation in this space has evolved uh, recently. Uh, so Giraffe, uh, you know, we uh, there is a regulation called as online bond platform, hmm. which is a license issued by SEBI actually. So uh, you know, our platform has also got that license. So now basically government at a macro level has started understanding that, you know, if India has to grow to this 10 trillion, 20 trillion economy, hmm. then the debt market in India has to grow and retail participation in the debt market has to grow, right? Hmm. And that is why, you know, they are coming up with regulations which enables uh, retail to par participate as easily as they can participate say, in equity, right? Hmm. And as we were discussing earlier as well, so, you know, this NSDL, CDSL, BSC, NSC, yeah. all of these agencies are now working along with platform like ours, hmm. uh, you know, to bring technology technology to bring processes where the participation becomes easier. Uh, government has reduced the ticket size now to 1 lakh. We are, you know, obviously mm. talking to them to further reduce it to 10,000, 1,000 and yeah. etc. So that the participation increases. Mm. Uh, so I would say a lot of steps has been taken in last few uh, years. You know, uh, in the recent, uh, you know, uh, past and, you know, what do you think have been some of the most enabling factors for investments into bonds? I mean, for instance, I can give you a small example of, say, the regulator telling uh, banks to die or NBFCs to yeah. diversify their borrowings, yeah. you know, not just rely on banks, go yeah. to bond markets. I mean, yeah. similar factors like yes. that, which have played into Absolutely. your growth story. So the, there have been multiple. Again, so on the to enable actually retail participants, the mm. earlier the minimum issue size uh, or a participation size was 10 lakhs for an individual investor. Yeah. So in October, I think 22, the government kind of brought that down to 1 lakh. As Vineet mentioned, there's a proposal to bring this down to 10,000, hmm. right? So reducing the ticket size is allowing a wider adoption, especially in individual investors. Like a satiatization of investment. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. The second is that uh, what SEBI has also now mandated uh, is if you're a large company, hmm. then a large part of your debt borrowing needs to be from capital markets. When it's, hmm. And when we say capital market, that means, you know, wealth firms, hmm. you know, AIS and, and bond platforms or individual investors. Okay. So they're actually asking large companies to have a portion of their borrowing through capital market. Hmm. Third is, uh, you know, uh, earlier people could choose that whether we go through a, you know, a listed format or we just do a more, uh, you know, a, a privately placed issue just between a few hmm. known investors. Hmm. Now, uh, again, from 1st Jan 2024, yeah. SEBI has kind of said that if you're a listed company or have raised debt through listed markets, then you only need to do that through listed markets. Okay. So that means that larger companies will tap this segment, yeah. you know, increasingly, yeah. which will allow more investors also to participate. Hmm. And they have also simultaneously reduced the ticket size and doing that further. Hmm. So, you know, there's a lot going on. Lots know, of tailwinds, yeah, uh, you know, for your growth. Yeah. But uh, 
you know, Vineet, uh, you know, as we are coming down to the last few questions, just for our investors and for our viewers again, uh, how are you creating value for investors as Giraffe? If you could give us some, uh, you know, concrete examples. See, one of the fundamental thing that we are doing is trying and understand uh, in, in from an investment portfolio perspective, what what exactly they are looking for. Okay, mm. so at Giraffe, the way we do is that we have a, uh, I would say a risk assessed uh, team okay we have an investment team we have a risk team where we try and curate products which will meet that particular need okay and that particular need will be linked to a lot of their uh, goals in life uh, hmm. that will be linked to wealth creation journey that they have and these are the things that we are trying to bring uh, from a platform perspective hmm. which will then create value for them uh, okay. in the short and medium term but uh, you know sort of hmm. uh, i suppose a lot of your competitors are also trying to do the yeah, same with yeah, their platform yeah. what sets giraffe apart so as Vinny mentioned, like I think curation and like diligence is a big part of this process. Hmm. I think you know uh, we have one of the strongest teams doing that uh, in in this ecosystem. Uh, not just Vinny and I, but you know our entire leadership team, even uh, you know the entire team of Jira House, they have a lot of experience in financial markets hmm. and debt and fixed income. The second would be, I would say, uh, this is an uh, era of, you know, while it's digital, hmm. but when it comes to financial investments, you also need that human touch to, you know, kind of understand what the product are, you know, get a sense that, you know, there is someone you can talk to if there's an yeah. issue. So yeah. I think we have uh, the best customer service in the industry as well. Uh, you know, so we really make it easy for customers to understand the product and obviously have a very easy to use convenient digital platform to participate and then even track their investments. Right? Hmm. Uh, the third would be, I think, you know, this is a in the, uh, any financial market other is based on trust and credibility. I think so beyond the team itself, you also have some of the most wonderful investors, uh, you know, backing us. Uh, and, you know, I think all of these kind of sets us apart. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, very important in this entire process is also your team. So, Vineet, I mean, uh, you know, different cultures, different people coming together. What is the ethos of the company? How are you bringing them all together to, uh, you know, sort of continue on this growth trajectory? Um, so, see, uh, one of the fundamental things that we believe is that, you know, uh, you need to empower, you need to give authority and empowerment both to the team members. Hmm. And as Saurav mentioned, you know, most of the teen, uh, senior team uh, people, they have come from uh, backgrounds like private equity, uh, NBFCs, bank, and you know, uh, they understand this uh, uh, market very deeply. Hmm. And uh, they believe in the problem that we are trying to solve because all of, see, all of us have faced the same problem, you know, after investing, say, in equity, real estate, or gold, hmm. what, what, where else can we invest? Hmm. So this was a problem which we were, uh, also facing right when we started this company and hmm. this is a problem which they identify with and because they come up come from such an experience uh, they are able to curate products uh, they are able to you know i would say go that extra mile to bring these products because they themselves invest we all of us we invest in the same product yes right? yeah. our own personal money so yeah. that is what drives them if i have to put yeah. it okay. just to add on to the point you know i think all of us are aligned to the larger vision right hmm. you know where debt will become really large hmm. and then in that journey like you know basic fundamentals which our values are like you know transparency integrity you know, uh, communication, hmm. these are like non-compromisable, right? So it's really easy when you have a wonderful team of people. Yeah. You know, just, just as a final closing comment, and I'll get it from both of you, uh, what's next for Giraffe? What do you think is the next big opportunity, Saurav? I think we are, you know, as, as we spoke a lot about it, like debt markets are very nascent in their journey, hmm. right? So I think what we are really doing right now is to create awareness, you know, within the investor category about what fixed income is, debt is, how can they really participate uh, mm. Right. And I think if we can achieve that, mm. uh, we can, as Jira, we are, you know, trying to obviously provide a very convenient digital platform to participate mm. and, uh, you know, then obviously have a wide array of products, you know, so that they can really create a robust income, you know, fixed income portfolio. Mm. Right? So if we manage to do all of these things, I think, you know, we'll have one lakh investors over the next 12 months okay. and then grow this to a million, you know, in a couple of years. Uh, I think uh, we've seen how all the equity trading platforms have grown. So mm. we hope to see a day when there are 15 million investors opening, you know, <laughs> bond accounts uh, with Giraffe, right? So. Well, Vineet, you have the final word. <laughs> yeah. I think Saurav has covered most of my, <laughs> <laughs> what I would want to see from Giraffe. Yes, we all want to see more growth. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so uh, that is one thing. And maybe, you know, a lot of, uh, uh, as we have discussed this, uh, 
maybe a little more push from government side also mm. uh, you know will help us mm. be it from taxation angle be it mm. uh, you know retailizing the product more be it uh, you know maybe cross border uh, uh, allowance uh, for investment etc mm. so now these are the natural i would say journey which the product will go like mm. any um, uh, other products the other financial products have gone in our country mm. so that will definitely help us in our journey yeah. all right uh, thank yeah. you so much for sharing your thoughts vineet and saurav it's been a pleasure speaking with both of you yeah, thank, thank you, you so for much having us yeah. thank yeah. you Well ladies and gentlemen as you've heard India's bond and fixed income market is ready for growth and you can literally ride the giraffe to the top. Vineet Agarwal and Saurav Ghosh have opened the doors for individuals like you and me to get online and invest in listed and secure fixed income assets sure to generate you good returns as the Indian growth story gathers pace. Thank you again for joining us on this special episode of CNBC TV 18 presents the fixed income investments in association with Giraffe and see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.